Welcome. My name is Jennifer. I'm here to guide you through 75 minutes of Baptiste Power Yoga Journey into Power. I'm reading from, I've actually already read it because it's a little tiny book, but it's like a workbook, Skill in Action, written by Michelle Cassandra Johnson. The subtitle of the Skill in Action is Radicalizing Your Yoga Practice to Create a Just World. So I know there's a lot of teachers in this room. Basically everyone is a teacher yeah. of something, right? So don't, don't like say, oh, I'm not a teacher. We're all teachers. Um, I wanna read this one little piece and um, she has little skill in action practices. And the first one, um, I'm gonna describe it and I printed it, I typed it up and printed it out. Skill in action practice number one. She says, as you embark on this journey with me, it's important for you to consider where you come from as a person and as a radicalized being. Where you are from is based on George Ella Lyon's poem, Where I'm From. It's been used as a template in many settings and I offer it here as a structure for you to consider how you would define where you come from and how you came to be. So I have the template on the back and I'll read the poem when we get to the end of class. But for now I wanted to open up with uh, this paragraph here where she says, <clears throat> I also believe it is an act of love to care and move people in their bodies. When we teach, we are inviting people into a loving conversation with themselves and their internal environment so that they might express that love outwardly to the beings they encounter. It is difficult to love in the face of hate. It is difficult to love when one is being made invisible by another. It is difficult to love when one's truth is being questioned and doubted. Love is about seeing your own humanity and the humanity of others. It is about collective care. To lead a practice of social justice through yoga, one must make a commitment to revisit and recommit to love again and again. If we practice and center love, we have a chance at changing things. We can create a just world. If we distract from love, then we are just that, distracted. While white supremacy, oppression, and hate thrive, May we love our way into being the just world that we can be. So she speaks to the skill in action on your mat is the skill in action off your mat. So the tools that you learn from being on your mat and doing this practice, setting your vision, setting your drishti, creating full deep breath and being aware of your breath, being aware of your skin in, creating tapas, the fiery discipline, the heat, that arises as we practice, and the vinyasa flowing, getting out of your own way, like all of that translates to life off the mat. Like there's no real separation between the rubber and the road. Yeah, so let's practice. Child's pose. Child's pose. Begin to integrate. Yeah, integrate integrity. Create integrity in your body from your fingertips to your toe tips. Yeah, and we speak to true north alignment as well in Baptiste yoga. And true north alignment isn't just about aligning the joints of your body. It's about aligning all of the aspects of your life in this space, in other spaces, in every space that your body inhabits. Like you cannot do right in one part of your life and do wrong in others. Like that just doesn't work. I mean, you can pretend that it works for a while, but it really doesn't work. So here, integrate, integrity. Bring it into your center. Your drishti is on your mat. Yeah, deep ujjayi breathing, breathing in and out your nose. The sound of your breath is your anchor to right here, right now. Downward facing dog. And notice your default, right? Notice your default, take your hands wide, root down through your first finger and thumb knuckle, take your feet at least hips width distance, maybe a little bit wider, and create a long dog from hand to foot, from front to back of your mat. 
Yeah, create a space of uncertainty, of a discovery. Good. Walk your feet to your hands, top of your mat, take ragdoll. Yeah, lift and spread your ten toes. Ground down through the four corners of your feet. And even here, begin to hug in skin to muscle to bone. Inhale, extended mountain. Reach up, look up. Set your gaze up and out into this space. Bring your hands to heart center. And we'll begin, we'll synchronize with three ohms. Extended mountain, look up, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Plant your hands, pause, high plank. Yeah, come into a high plank and pause right here. Yeah, before we begin to move, let's put in some fiery discipline, some tapas, some heat here in your high plank. Soften your elbows. Yeah, let the trembles start. If the trembles are already starting, drop your knees. Pull your shoulder blades onto your back and pull the pit of your belly in and up. Yes. Breathe in one. Breathe out one. We'll be here for three. Breathe in two. Breathe out two. Breathe in three. Lower halfway down. Exhale. Upward facing dog. Untuck your toes. Lift your thighs. Lift your knees. Downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. Yeah, and recreate your space of discovery. Come out of your default. Make your down dog different, spacious. And put in and keep present the five pillars of Baptist yoga. Drishti, Ujjayi, Bandhas, the hugging in, Tapas, the heat, the discipline, and Vinyasa, the flow, the flow state, where you get out of your head. You get out of your own way and you move your body with your breath. All together, breathe in. Bring your knees low, bend your knees low. Look at the top edge of your mat and jump. Jump there. Yes, halfway lift. Forward fold. Extended mountain, ground down, reach up, look up. Long side body, breathe. Exhale, fold. Good. Lengthen, half lift. Plant your hands and flow. High plank to low plank. Sun salutation A, right? Low plank, upward facing dog. Untuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale into your back body. Big full breath in. Bend your knees, look at the top edge of your mat, bottom of your exhale, jump. Yes, Prima, halfway lift. Forward fold. Extended mountain, see the wall behind you. Go up and go back, look up and look back. Yes, forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. Flow, high plank, low plank. Moving your body with your breath. Low plank, upward facing dog. Tops of your feet press down, lift your thighs, lift your knees. Yes, downward facing dog, hips up and back, good work. Yeah, moving your body, creating some heat, getting out of your head, getting into the physicalness, tapping into the energy of the collective, like everyone in this room, right? You're all a, a big yes for everyone else here. And know that there's so many other people in this room that have your back. 
that want success for you. Yeah, that want happiness and joy for you, just like you do for them. Everyone breathe in. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump. Yes, halfway lift, forward fold. Move with your breath, extended mountain, inhale, look up, breathe, 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 breathe. Exhale, bow, breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale, half lift, plant your hands, flow, high plank, low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Hmm. Three breaths right here, breathing in, breathing out. Skill in action. Every breath is an opportunity to begin again, so you don't have to worry about getting it right, getting it wrong. It doesn't matter. Your presence, your awareness, you tuning into what's so, that's what matters. Yeah, you showing up for yourself, you showing up for others, that's what matters. Everyone, breathe in. Bring your knees low. Fire up your legs and jump to the top of your mat. Good, halfway lift. Forward fold, extended mountain, get big, reach up, look up, bow right back down. Half lift, lengthen, flow, high to low, high to low, upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale, hmm. breathe in and breathe out. Yeah, breathe in and breathe out. One more inhale here. At the bottom of your exhale, take your feet to your hands. Good, halfway lift, fold. Thunderbolt, chair pose. First chair pose, bring your big toes to touch. Yeah, a little tiny space between your heels. Yeah, sit your hips back and stack your shoulders over your hips. Yeah, like you're pressing the back, yeah, your back, back into the wall behind you. Stack your shoulders over your hips, so lift your chest, everyone, more. Yes, keep breathing. Yeah, when things get hairy, the breath stops. Mm-hmm, good, one more, breathe in. Bow, forward fold, let it go. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands to the mat, flow, high plank, low plank. Untuck your toes, press them into the earth, upward facing dog, good, downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one, step your right foot to your right thumb, back heel plants, right foot to right thumb. And give your hips space, so take your left foot wide, wider out to the edge of your mat. Yeah, either one, right foot out or left foot out, give your hips space. Spin your pinky fingers in towards one another. Set your drishti, fingers reach up, good. Mm -hmm. Pull your belly button in, your bottom ribs in. Hug skin to muscle to bone. And work to stack your right knee over your right ankle. Yeah, bring a 90 degree angle to your right knee. Yeah, that makes something happen in your thigh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be here for that thing that happens. Make it happen. It's not magic, you create it. Yes, one more breath, breathe. Plant your hands on the mat and flow, high plank to low plank. Just getting into our body, getting it moving up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Warrior one, left side. Yes, step into your warrior one. And consider that this, these poses have names like warrior one because it's preparing you. It's preparing you for the challenges of life. Yeah, so pull back on your left hip a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Slight bend to your back knee. Give yourself space. Yeah, pull your belly button in, bottom ribs in. Good. Reach your fingers up towards the ceiling. Send your gaze up. See what you're about in this space out here. Good. Breathe in. One more. Breathe in. Reach up. Mm, so good, plant your hands and flow, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, in. Downward facing dog, breath out. Yeah, we just broke down a sun salutation B. Slowly, first time today. 
maybe. Breathe in, breathe out. The next two sun salutation Bs, we will take them one move, one breath. Minimal cueing so you can feel your body and hear your breath. Breathe in, bend your knees, breathe out. Jump, half lift, fold, thunderbolt, bow, half lift, flow, high to low. Just move with your body, move your breath up, dog in, down dog out, warrior one, right side. Vinyasa flow, hands to the earth, high to low. Move your body. There's no right, there's no wrong. Just moving your body, experiencing the magic that is your body, that is your breath right here, right now. Yeah, warrior one, left side. Step forward, ground down, reach up, lift up. Vinyasa, high plank, low plank. Good work. <laughs> up dog, down dog. And take the next sun salutation, be on your own. If you're not sure what to do, just do something. Moving your body. Have the experience of moving your body. Yeah, just move your body, move your breath. Create heat, have the discipline to keep going when you're uncertain. Yeah. The discipline to keep going when you're uncertain is a superpower. Yeah, it's a superpower. You get out of your own way and you let the vinyasa, let the flow state take over. So good, so good. And when you feel you are complete with your sun salutation B, however you're making it show up here on your mat, we will all meet in downward facing dog. Good work, good work, good work. Good work, everyone take a breath in. Everyone let that breath go. Everyone breathe in, everyone breathe out. Lift your right leg back behind you, strong and straight flexing your foot and look back point your toes directly down at the ground yeah so dial your right hip down a lot a lot a lot more yes yes actively pushing the mat away from you right yes bend your knee stack your hips like a dog at a fire hydrant yeah stack your hips uh-huh have fun with this like a dog at a fire hydrant release yeah kick your foot towards the lobby yeah now come up onto the tippy toes of your bottom foot, flip your dog. Right foot comes down to the earth, spin around on your left toes, right foot comes down to the earth. Yeah, good. Press your heart up, your hips up. Look where your finger's pointing, see them. See where your fingers are pointing. So good, side plank, right hand down. Right hand down, right foot down, side plank, Vashistasana. Love it, right? Lift your top leg for everyone in this room, for everyone in the park, for everyone down the street, for everyone at the cafe down the street. Send them some of your power right here. So good, downward facing dog, let it go. Breathe in, breathe out. Left side, left leg, lift it long and straight, flexing your foot. Yeah, so press, so Amy, press your, yeah, flat foot, yes, towards the inside out yoga logo, yes. From here, bend your knee, stack your hips. Stack your hips, press your foot towards the park, like you could kick the trees in the park or wet your toes in the fountain. Yeah, now tippy toes, bottom foot, tippy toes. Flip your dog. Left foot comes down, yes. Perfect, yes, perfect. Lift your hips, lift your heart, see where your fingers are reaching. Yeah, send your gaze up to your fingertips, so good. So good, side plank, left side. Left side, left hand, left foot, lift your top leg for everyone. 
everywhere. For the whole world, lift your top leg. Yeah, making something happen here. Sending your energy out into the space around you. Skill in action. Mm, downward facing dog, let it go. Yes, breathe in. Breathe out. It all begins with your breath. And then you can set your sights on what you're up to in this world. Be up to something bigger than yourself. Making the higher call at each step. Yeah, getting out of your own way. Seeing your connection to the every, the all. Skill in action. Mm -hmm. Step your right foot forward, crescent lunge. Right foot forward, crescent lunge, and stack your back heel high over your tippy toes. And from here, lift the front of your pelvis. Yeah, good. Belly button in, bottom ribs in. Squeeze your thighs in towards center line, in towards your spine line. Spin your pinky fingers towards one another like you're holding a beach ball of goodness between your hands. Breathe in and out your nose. Yeah, steady your mind with your breath. Bring your hands to heart center. Twist to the right. Left elbow to right knee. Touch. And then split your hands. Open your arms. Yeah. Breathe. Breathe. Good. Inhale here. Exhale here. One more breath in. Release that breath here. Inhale, warrior two. Warrior two. Yeah, stack front knee over front ankle. Press your right knee towards the park. It wants to go to the lobby. It wants to go sit over there on the couch. Send it to the trees. Yeah, pull your shoulders down away from your ears and squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back. Mm, squeezing into spine line. Yeah, gaze is right there over your front middle finger. You can see what you're up to in this world. Your whole life is right there over your front middle finger. Flip your front palm, reverse, reach up and reach back. Press your right shin towards the front of the room. So good. Extended side angle, right side. Forearm to thigh, fingers to earth, your extended side angle. And we are making shapes. We are moving breath in and out. You are always invited to ramp up, ramp down. Honor your body right where it is. Yeah, honor your body right where it is. Maybe you explore, maybe you let come back, finding your edge, making something happen. Everyone breathe in. Exhale, hands to your mat. Vinyasa, flow, high plank, low plank. So good. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Mm. Crescent lunge, left side. Step your left foot forward and set up your crescent lunge. New experience. First time here. Yeah. Now take a long stance. Pull your bottom ribs in. Lift the front of your pelvis. Good. Bring your hands to heart center. Twist left. Yeah, touch your elbow to your knee. And then split your hands, open your arms, right fingers down, left fingers reach. Lift up through your back hamstring. Yes. Yeah, breathe here. Breathe here, feel your feet, feel your hands, hug skin to muscle to bone. One more breath in. Stay breath out. Inhale, warrior two. Good work. Yeah, set your drishti, set your gaze. Root down through the pinky toe edge of your right foot and send your left knee towards the lobby, towards the lounge, lobby lounge. Yeah, shoulders down, shoulder blades together, squeezing. Squeezing, squeezing, yes, the tapas, the heat. Create the heat with your intention, your attention. Flip your front palm, reach up, reverse. So good. Extended side angle, left side. 
fingers down, forearm down, and just work with what's so, what's so right here. Notice what you feel. Yeah, if you, if you lean in a little far and things get hairy, pull back and then come back. Yeah, don't sit down on yourself. Yeah, everybody in this room is rooting for you like you're rooting for them. So don't sit down on yourself because they wouldn't sit down on you, right? We're all in support of one another. Everyone breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands and flow. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, lift your gaze, breathe in. Downward facing dog, send your drishti to your toes. So good, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, step, hop, jump, top of your mat, halfway lift, fold, utkatasana, chair pose, we'll flow this section, breathe in, sit deep, hands to heart center, twist right. And come back to center, chair pose. Hands to heart center, twist left. Chair pose, come back to center, forward fold. Split your feet, hips width distance apart. Grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Fingers to toes, forward fold. Padagustasana. Drop your head, let your elbows be wide. Press your sits bones up towards the ceiling. Release your big toes, take palms to toes, forward fold, stand in your hands, padahastasana. So stand all the way on your hands, lift up your feet, yeah, bring your toes up to your wrist creases, yeah. And be in the experience of like, whoa, I don't ever do this, ever. Yeah, except on your mat. Yeah, so be in the experience of a new feeling, a new experience, a new sensation. Take two steps backwards in your padahastasana with your padahastasana and take two steps forward. And just be in the experience of discovery, like what's so, what's possible from this. Release. Set up crow pose or yogi squat. Crow pose, you'll place your hands directly underneath your shoulders, fingers spread wide, knees to the backs of your triceps, and you shift your gaze forward. You shift your hips up towards the ceiling, and maybe you just lift one foot as you actively press the mat away from you. Lift the other foot, working your balance. Maybe you have full crow in your practice. Yeah, just be where you are, right here, right now. Right here, right now. We'll be here for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Vinyasa. Yeah, high plank to low plank. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Yeah, simple, simple and good. Yeah. Everyone breathe in. Bend your knees, look at the top edge of your mat, let it go, bottom of the breath, jump. Yeah, jump on empty, halfway lift, fold, root to rise, extended mountain. Hands to heart center, set your drishti, out into the space, eyes open, eye level, find your spot. Eagle pose, right leg up and over, right arm up and under. Squeeze into center line, eagle. Eagle, so right thigh is up and over, squeeze. Right arm up and under, squeeze. Yeah. Lift your elbows in line with your shoulders, pull your shoulder blades together on your back. Everything hugs into center, squeeze. For five, one, two, three, four, five, change sides, eyes open, out into here, drishti set, set your spot, eagle, left side, left thigh up and over, left arm up and under, and squeeze, everything that's touching squeezes into center for five, one, two, three, four, 
five change sides, eagle second set. Come into the pose, land the shape, pull your shoulder blades together on your back, hug in, one, two, three, four, five change sides. And pick back up where you left off. One, two, three, four, five. Come back to center, both feet down. Standing leg raise, bring your right knee into your chest. Right knee into your chest, take your shin. Maybe you take the yogi toe lock, your call, your practice. Open your right leg out to the park. Yeah, open out. Left arm goes towards the lounge. Extend your left hand with energetic fingers. Yeah, wake up your hand. Is it just there? Is it along for the ride? Now look at your left thumb. Shift your drishti. Yeah, come, how, come out of how it should be and just be what's so. Can I see my left thumb? Good. Come back to center. Kick your right foot forward. Reach your fingers up towards the ceiling. Kick and reach. Airplane pose. Right leg, kick it back. Both arms come back by your sides, palms down. Find upward facing dog in your chest. Pull your shoulder blades together. Good. Good. Arms back like airplane wings. Yes. Bring your hands to heart center. Half moon. Left hand touches down with spider fingers. It's okay if you don't have a prop. We're working with what's so, not what's perfect, right? It's okay. Extend your back leg. Flex your foot. Wake it up. Yeah, be in the experience of being on one foot, being uncertain, but wake up your back foot. Spread your five toes. Yeah, get air in between your toes. Can you send your gaze up to your top hand? Just try it on. If you fall out, you fall out. It's okay. Good work. Come back to standing. Come back to standing. Take a breath in. Yeah, let it go. Standing leg raise, left side. Bring your left knee into your chest. Toe lock or not makes no difference. Feet awake is the difference. Open out. Leg out to the left, right arm out to the right. See your right thumb. Shift your drishti. Good, come back to center. Kick your foot, reach your fingers up. Airplane pose, arms back, palms face the earth. Yeah, left leg, kick it back, flex your foot, dial your toes down, good, good. So good, hands to heart center, touch fingertips. Half moon, so good, right hand down, spider fingers. Eiffel Tower hand, spider fingers, I don't know which one sounds better. Flex your left foot and lift your left leg. Good, slight bend to your standing knee, so good. Press out of hand and foot, so good. Come back to standing. Let it go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dancer pose, right side. Left arm reach it high. Right hand grabs the inside of your right foot for dancer pose. And what I want to see is thumb up. So everybody come back to standing. So thumb up to grab the inside of your right foot. So thumb up, thumb up. Yes, there's an instinct in some to twist. So prima thumb up, rotate your arm right back, straight back, and then grab the inside. Right hand to right foot with thumb up. So your thumb is gonna be on your big toe, yeah. Yes, yes, so it's an open shoulder grip. Yeah, and come into your dancer. Make the shape of dancer with your body here today. One, two, three, four, five. Good work, switch sides. Yeah, and go for the open shoulder grip. It gives you more space across your chest, across your pectoral muscles. Yeah, make the shape, dancer. One, two, three, four, 
five, switch sides, vinyasa flow, switch sides with a fluidity, dancer, right side. Right hand, right foot. Breathing, drishti out into space. Yeah, look for the wobble, look for the wiggle. So good, change sides, change sides. Yeah, just be curious about what's possible here in Dance Earth. This is not like, nailed it. This is an experience of discovery. Yeah, so land the pose in your body, feel what you feel. Put in and keep present drishti, ujjayi, bandhas, tapas, and the vinyasa. Hmm. Good work. Come to standing. Tree pose. Right side. Right foot to your ankle, your calf, or your inner thigh. Set your drishti out here. And create your tree. Reach your arms up. From your drishti spot, trace a line across the wall and up the ceiling. See the ceiling right up above where you are. Come up and out of your experience. Now be in your experience. Close your eyes. Good, good work. Good work, tree, opposite side. Yeah, allow yourself to have the experience of uncertainty, of instability, right? Allow it. Yeah, there's growth there. Yeah, so set your drishti, move your drishti up, up and out, up and back. And close your eyes. Good work. Come to standing. Everyone take a breath in. Let it go. Inhale, extended mountain. Reach up. Look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Flow. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog. Breathe in. Downward facing dog. Breathe out. Step your right foot forward and create triangle on your right side. Trikonasana. Put a fluidity into your knees. Softness in your knees. Micro bend. So many ways to say the same thing. Micro bend your knees. And come up to standing. Right toes face the left edge of your mat. Right, so spin your right toes towards the lounge. Yeah, side facing, wide angle, forward fold. Hinge at your hips, drop your head towards the earth. Yeah, bring your feet wider than you think you should. Allow yourself to have this experience. This experience of being upside down, seeing things differently. Walk your fingers out under your shoulders, halfway lift, lengthen your spine, and come up to standing. Pivot your right toes towards the front edge of your mat. Left foot comes halfway up your mat, setting up for pyramid pose. Clasp opposite elbows, pull your shoulders together, and pull your front ribs in. Because when we clasp arms, our ribs want to blow out. Pull your front ribs in, fold over your front thigh. Send your gaze up towards your belly button. Press down through your heels. Soften your knees. Yeah, it's like a teeter-totter between softening knees, pressing down through heels. Shoulder blades pull together on your back. So good. Release the grip, twisting triangle. Left hand comes down to the earth. 
Yeah, right there next to your right foot. Yeah, press down through your heels, good. Breathe, we'll be here for five. One, two, three, four, five, vinyasa. Plant your hands, high plank, low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Mm. Step your left foot forward, create triangle on the left side. Step into your triangle, your experience of trikonasana. Yeah, tune into your body, soften your knees. Come up to standing, left toes face the long edge of your mat, interlace your hands at the small of your back, and come into side facing wide angle forward fold with a bind, drop your head. Soften your elbows. Yeah, it changes it so much. Yeah, it's so much easier to just get locked into a specific way of being. Resist that. Come up to standing. Left toes face the front edge of your mat. Right foot comes halfway up. We're setting up for pyramid pose, opposite side. You can keep your interlaced hands. Yeah, drop your chest over your right thigh, left thigh. Yeah, drop forward. And alternate, softening knees. Press down through heels. Yeah, the duality, the stirasuka, the softness and the strength, the teeter-totter right here. You're experiencing it in your body, your attention. Twisting triangle, right hand touches down, left hand reaches for the ceiling. We're here for five. One, two, three, four, five, vinyasa, hands to the earth, high plank, low plank, so good, upward facing dog, breathing in, downward facing dog, breathing out, yeah, shift forward into a high plank, three yogi push-ups, low plank, high plank, low plank, high plank, low plank, Come all the way down to your mat when you are complete with your three yogi push-ups. Bring your arms back by your sides, palms face the earth. One ear on your mat, give it some love. Good, give it some love. Locust pose, strong back body. Lift your hands, your heart, your feet with the strength of your back body. Gaze down, lengthen your neck, good. For five, one, two, three, four, good Karen, five, release, breathe in, breathe out, locust pose, second set, go up for five, one, two, three, four, five, good Nat, release, mm. breathe in, breathe out, Floor bow, bend your knees, grab your feet, grab your ankles, grab your shins. And yeah, just see what's possible. And kick your feet into your hands like you were doing in dancer, sort of. That action, kick feet into hands, pull back on your feet with your hands. For one, two, three, four, five, release. Yeah, sway your feet from side to side. Floor bow, second set. Second set, a new experience, a new opportunity, right? You can't step into the river twice in the same spot. Come into your floor bow. One, two, three, four, five, release. Mm. Upward facing dog. Upward facing dog. Yeah, soften your elbows. Tops of your feet press down so much that you lift your thighs, you lift your knees. Yeah, so much through the tops of your feet. Good, downward facing dog. Good, come down to your knees. Camel pose, camel pose. Stack your hips over your knees, bring your hands to the 
pockets that you don't have. Pull your belly button and your bottom ribs in, good. Lift your chest up, your gaze up, your gaze back. Gaze up, gaze back, gaze out. Yeah, allow for this opening, this huge igniting, this huge heart opener for five. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly come out of camel, sit back on your heels. Take a breath in. Let that breath go. Camel second set. New experience, new opportunity, new time for skill and action. Lift up, look up, look back. Yeah, just be in the experience of leaning into where you cannot see, right? Leaning into the unknowing, the uncertainty from a place of discovery and love. One, two, three, four, Five, come out of camel, sit back on your heels, breathe in. Uh-huh, breathe out. Bridge pose. Come to lie on your back, feet firmly planted on your mat, knees bent. And step one is can you graze your heels with your middle fingers? That's the distance of your bridge. Press your feet into the earth your shoulders and triceps into the earth. Lift your hips up. Maybe you stay here, maybe you interlace your fingers underneath the small of your back and walk your shoulders underneath you, squeezing them in towards one another, pressing them down into the earth. Mm, breathing in and breathing out. For three, two, one, come down to your mat, come down to earth. Take a breath in, let that breath go. And then we have six more. Could be bridge, could be wheel. If full wheel is in your practice, you can mix it up. Yogi's choice. We'll do six, I will count five at each. You can go up and stay up, you can come down in between your call. Number one, rise up. One, two, three, four, five, stay up or come down, breathe in, breathe out. Number two, rise up, bridge or wheel for one, two, three, four, five, stay up or come down, breathe in, breathe out. Number three, bridge or wheel for one, two, three, four, Five, breathe in, breathe out. Number four, one, two, three, four, five, breathe in, breathe out. Number five, one, two, three, four, five, breathe in, breathe out. Last one, rise, bridge or wheel, one, two, three, four, five, lower down. Supta Baddha Konasana. Press the bottoms of your feet together. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Eyes open, see what you see. Mm -hmm. Feel your heartbeat. Feel the rise and fall of your breath. Happy baby. Happy baby. Extend both legs straight up towards the ceiling. Flex your feet. Mm, so good. Interlace your hands at the nape of your neck and lift your shoulders up off the earth. Pulse towards both of your feet for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Right leg to a hover, keep pulsing. Right leg to a hover, two inches off the earth. Yes, keep pulsing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Right leg to a hover, keep pulsing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Right leg
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs, left leg hovers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Both legs up. Hug your knees into your chest. Mm -hmm. Rock from side to side. Release. Mm -hmm. Place your hands underneath your tailbone for an extra cushion. Send both legs straight up towards the ceiling, 30, 60 legs. Cross your right ankle over your left ankle. Mm -hmm. Right ankle over left ankle. Mm -hmm. Lower your legs 30 degrees. Breathe. Lower your legs to 60 degrees. Breathe. Bring your feet to a hover. Look at your feet and paint the wall to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Head down, legs up. Oh, so good. Switch the stack of your ankles. Yes, lower down 30. Yeah, 60. It's a skill in action. Feet to a hover. Paint to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Head down, legs up. Oh, so good. Feet together. Bring your big toes to touch. Yeah, no crossed ankles. One more time. Free, free feet. Lower down 30. 60. Feet to a hover. Look at your toes. Flutter kick, scissor kick for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hug your knees into your chest. Mm -hmm. Rocks to side to side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is preparation for when things get hairy. IRL, right? This is IRL right here. Mm -hmm. Skill in action. Yes, abdominal twists, yogi bicycles, 40, right? elbow to left knee and kick out right elbow to left knee kick your right leg out with a flexed foot yeah you know what to do go for 40 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 30 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. Hug your knees into your chest. So good. Yeah, rock and roll up and down your spine from toes to head. Yeah. And come into boat pose, Navasana, boat pose. Yeah, arms reaching. Big toes can touch the ground. Lift your chest. Yeah, you can touch your big toes on the ground, it will feel different. Yeah, feel, yes, the lift in your chest is the key here. Lifting your chest, pulling your shoulder blades down your back. So good. Breathe. Low boat. One, two, three, four, five. High boat. Low boat. One, two, three, four, five. High boat. Low boat. One, two, three, four, five. So good. Release everyone. Taking a full body stretch right here. Reach your fingers, stretch your toes, take up space. Mm. Downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Yeah, check out this down dog. Make it a good one. Make it a big one. A joyous, victorious downward facing dog. Extend your right leg high, strong, and straight behind you. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Feel this newly. And set up half pigeon. Bring your right knee to your right wrist. Right knee to right wrist, yes. Right ankle behind left wrist. Right knee to right wrist. So Amy, take your right knee wider. Like, that's okay, you can use the block behind your, um, your right buttock to give yourself some lift. Use the tools that you have. Yeah, set up half pigeon and come into the pose using blocks, bringing your forehead down to your fists, stacked fists. Yeah, and allow your body to open. Mm -hmm. Be here, breathing deeply and freely. Mm. Action your feet into the earth. Press the feet into the earth. Switch sides, half pigeon opposite side. Left knee to left wrist. You can take reclined half pigeon if that works better. Figure four on your back.
Good. Pull forward, lengthening your spine over your front shin. Action your feet into the earth. Double pigeon, bring your right leg around in front and stack your shins. Right leg around to stack on top of left shin. Maybe if you have really tight hips, you might have a block underneath either knee or in between. You could take seated figure four as an option. Your choice, your call for your hip opener. Yeah, flex your feet oh, right here. Ooh. Right here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Switch the stack of your legs. Maybe it's seated. Maybe it's full. Yeah, just be in discovery of what's here. What's here for you in your hips. Without judgment, without right, without wrong. Mm-hmm. And then set up frog pose. Take your knees to your mat. Let your thighs come out of your hips at 90 degrees. Your shins come out of your knees at 90 degrees. Your feet out of your ankles at 90 degrees. So take the long way on your mat so your knees have cushion. So everyone either face the park or face the lounge. Yeah, so your knees are both cushioned on your mat. Mm -hmm. Bring your knees wide. Yeah, come into your groins. Good. Flex your feet. <clears throat> yeah, everyone flex your feet and put your attention onto your ears. Put your attention onto your ears. Send your listening out into this space. Yeah, so come out of the sounds in your head, right? Come out of the sounds in your head and come out into the sounds in the space. The sounds of the fountain, yeah, come out of the, the words that frog makes happen. Yeah, frog does things. It's a powerful pose. It's a slow pose. So put your attention on your listening for the music in the park, the fountain in the park, the sounds of people moving outside and be here and allow frog to open. Allow frog to open, allow frog to be slow. Allow yourself to be in the experience of uncertainty yeah, your groin's opening, your body resists right away. Put your atten attention on your ears and be here for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Seated single leg extension. So come to a seat on your mat with your right leg extended out long. Right leg out long, left foot to right inner thigh. Now fold over your front thigh. Fold over your front thigh. And just be here, folding over your front thigh. No right, no wrong, no judgment, no should, no oughta, no could, no might. Just what's so. Skill in action. Right here, skill in action. Switch legs. Discovering your body one breath at a time. Mm -hmm. With your eyes open, Allowing yourself to see your connection to the every, to the all, to the everyone. All humans everywhere want love, want food, want shelter, want acceptance, want freedom. We all want the same things.
seated forward fold. Extend both of your legs out long and fold over both of your legs. And just dropping in, dropping forward. Good, good work, good work. Noticing what's so. Reverse tabletop, bring your hands back by your hips, bend your knees, place your feet on your mat and lift your hips. Lift your hips, lift your heart, yeah, reverse tabletop for five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Come down, set up fish pose. Bring your hands underneath your hips. Bring your forearms to the mat. Mm -hmm. Extend your legs out long, fan your toes, lift your chest up and back, kind of like camel, but you're a fish now. Yeah, lift your chest up, your chest back for five, four, three, two, one one set up an inversion everyone take a block or take your legs up to the sky you can just simply put your legs up in the air bring your hands under your tailbone to give them your tailbone an extra lift yeah go upside down for 20. one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Headstand, take child's pose. Everyone else, take your legs slowly down to the mat. Remove the block if you have one. Hug your right knee into your chest. Extend your left leg long. supine twist. Left hand takes right knee across your body. Send your gaze out to your right thumb. And release gripping. Release gripping. Notice where you're clenching. And put your attention on letting go. Switch sides. And be present in this experience. Experience this experience fully with your full awareness. The simplicity of a supine twist. Supta Baddha Konasana. Bottoms of your feet together, knees wide. And touch in, hand to heart, hand to belly. Cultivate gratitude for the strength of your body, what your body can do for you. For what your body does for you automatically. Extend your legs out long on your mat. Make any last final movements that you would like before you come into stillness of Shavasana. Yeah, set up your Shavasana and create stillness. Create stillness, let your thoughts come up, let them go, let your breath be your breath. Hear what you hear, feel the air on your skin. Where I'm from, I am from clothespins. 
from Clorox and carbon tetrachloride. I am from the dirt under the back porch, black, glistening, it tasted like beets. I am from the Forsythia bush, the Dutch elm whose long gone limbs I remember as if they were my own. I'm from fudge and eyeglasses, from Imogene and Alifair. I'm from the know-it-alls and the pass-it-ons, from perk up and pipe down. I'm from he restoreth my soul with a cotton ball lamb and 10 verses I can say myself. I'm from Artemis and Billy's branch, fried corn and strong coffee. From the finger my grandfather lost to the auger, the eye my father shut to keep his sight. Under my bed was a dress box spilling old pictures, a sift of lost faces to drift beneath my dreams. I am from those moments snapped before I budded, leaf fall from the family tree.
inhale, exhale. Roll to your favorite side and take fetal position. Tucking your knees up into your chest, using your bottom arm as a pillow. Beginning again. Beginning again. And press yourself up to an easy seat at the top of your mat. Bring your hands to heart center and touch thumbs to chest. Sit tall. And we'll close today's practice with three ohms. Oh. Thumb tips to your forehead center, touch in, connect in to you, connect into each, connect into every, connect into all. Together we bow. Namaste. Thank you, Nat. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Karen, Prima, and Jody for coming to your mats and doing this work, putting skill into action. Thank you. Give yourself a hand. Good work.